I just realized I forgot to turn on the closed caption. I don't want to talk too soon, but I have a feeling like I didn't really buy games last year. Or not a lot, at least. I can't count that on the thing on my on my hands. Like I bought Animal Crossing, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Friends of Middle Town, Mario All Stars. I think that was the the four game that I bought. Let's go! husband has an interview really 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 soon so i'm gonna have to calm down but i want to see all the emotes in chat i need to i need to calm down <laughs> i need to calm down oh my god we need some hype music holy shit we need some hype music oh my god what can i hear pokemon here we go okay how how do i set it up how do i set it up you guys summoned it. Yes, yes. Let's not dox myself again. Getting too excited now. Okay. Let me do like a quick setup, really quick. We are Silska. Where is my game? Look, guys, it's you. Say hi to you. Hello. Say hi, chat. Sunshine, say hi to yourself. Hello, sunshine. Okay. Um, I think I have an exacto knife. I have this mail opener. Let's see if it works. Oh yes, there's a paper inside. Okay. I'm gonna try my hardest to not touch myself and show you guys what is inside. So we have the thingies. Oh, okay, cool. Paper. Address. Oh my god! Look at it, guys! It's so small, though. I didn't thought it was this small. Let me get my switch to compare. Like, it's smaller than my Switch. It's so pretty, y'all. It says Story of Season, uh, Pioneer of Olive Town, Premium Edition. We have the female and the male character. They do be looking so freaking cute. Did you guys know it was the 25th anniversary? That's amazing. And we have all the Bachelor and the Bachelorette. I really don't know who I'm gonna pick because they are so good looking. Um, and so it says here on the box, I'm trying to show it to you guys. Build your farm from the ground up. Welcome to Olive Town, a peaceful community established by your tra trailblazing grandfather and his friends. Now you're taking over his farm, it's your job to carry on his legacy. Plant crops, raise animals, build relationships to get to know you, the resident of your new home. Customize your farm and facility however you like. And take care of your animals, find in love, get married. And then, this story of season. This is what we are excited about, y'all. This story of season premium edition contains the game. Buffy! The layer of see and a full color fabric wall hanging. So all of this fits in this little box. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Where 
I guess I'm opening from the top. All right, let's open it. Oh my god, this is so tight. Oh no, I already... Oh no! Okay, I almost break the box here, but that's all right. Okay. Okay, okay, so we have the game. Ah, uh, the box art is like so good, honestly. And it's the same thing... Um, the opposite side. And then we have Puffy! Oh my god! Are you guys excited to unpack Puffy? I am. Oh my god, Puffy is so soft! Look at her face! Look at her! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god! She has babies! Oh my god! So to compare, let me grab... Um, my, let me grab Ichigo. Ichigo the cow. So this was Ichigo. That was with um, Friends of Mineral Town. And this is Buffy. So Buffy is thick. Buffy is like so big compared to Ichigo. This alone, this alone is the worth the premium edition. Let me tell you. Look at her. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna put the two of them like right here. Okay. We have the poster. I didn't expect it to be this small because it do says that it's it's supposed to be this big, right? Twenty four inches. It's it's kind of long, right? It doesn't seem that it, it it is this big unless it's like very like well folded. All right. Oh. It's like super thin. Oh. Oh. oh okay. Okay. It's, it's bigger than I thought it would be. Then. Oh my god. I think it can. Hold on. I can't even show you because it's like so big. So it's kind of like the full, co um, the full cover art. Um, like I still have like a few inches after this part. Like right here, and then over the dog, like goes up there, have the eagle, like... Let me try to stand up and like try to show fully to you guys how big it is. It's really big and it's super super cute. But now here's the thing. Um, usually, let me show you. As an example, here's um, Sword and Shield um, poster. It, it's kind of like another text doll, but we have like those little things. So um, we can like hang it on the wall. But this one has nothing. So I really don't know how I'm gonna like put it on my wall. Because I don't want like to... Um, I don't want like to rip the fabric. Because if I put a tack in there, it's gonna make a little hole. And I don't want to make little holes. I was hoping to get like one of those things. So um, I guess I'll find a way to hang it. Oh my god, don't you love those damn cows? I love this cow. And look, look at the little thing here. What is this? I'm so excited, you all. You can use some clothes pin and attach a string from the corner. Yeah, I guess I can do that, but I'll still make a hole, right? Well, it, it's not gonna be like a, a big hole, of course, but still, I was hoping that uh, it will come with like little thingy, but okay, okay. Not gonna lie, super happy that I bought 
the premium edition. For me, it's all worth it. And there is like one last thing I want to see with you guys because I was quite surprised when um, I actually opened my copy of Friends of Mineral Town, and you guys will see in a little bit. Oh wait, I think we're, I'm not thinking of the same thing, Deb. It's like the... Oh, yes, you're right! Okay, okay, I know what you meant. Because I saw that you meant, like, um... <laughs> you know they always like to put diapers on baby? And you would, like, um, attach the, the diaper cloth with, like, this little, um, clothespin? How do you call that? Yeah, the safety pin. I saw that you were think, um, talking about this. Okay. So, yeah, the clothespin, like the the wooden clips that you uh, and your clothes with, like on a, like a dryer outside. Alright. So. Oh, I can see it. Okay. So here's... You know, guys, I really like physical stuff. And there's another thing I really like is books and comic books. And I can already see it, like, in the plastic. So, those guys are still doing freaking instruction manuals. And I'm there for it. I'm super there for it. And they put a little comic at the end for, um... Um... Friends of Mural Town. So let's look at this instruction manual. Because if there's one thing I miss from um, the older thing is having instruction manuals. Because every time I would get a game at EB Games, on my way home, I would read those instruction manuals. It's a tourist guide? Oh my god, I even didn't read it. Olive Town Tourist Guide. We, we gotta read it now. It's our tourist guide. We, we need to get as much information as we can before playing the game. It's so freaking cute. Um, hiya and welcome to Olive Town. We're so glad you could visit our um, little paradise on the peninsula. This booklet is a handy guide uh, to the many fresh sights and experience we have to offer. We sincerely hope you will enjoy your stay. Oh, and I'm Laura, the town tour guide. If you have any questions, come find me at the Tourist Information Center page 16 near the docks. What? This is so cute. Oh my god. Olive Town map. Okay, so we have the map of the town. Great, great, great. Local history. Oh my god. Olive Town was founded decades ago by a group of friends as a idyllic? Idyllic? idyllic community far away from the hustle and bustle of the big city. Initially, it was a farming community, through, uh, though in recent years, the surrounding farmland has uh, fallen to this... Uh, Daisus? So many words that I don't know, fuck. I, I look so dumb. Um, Daisus? D-I... No, E. No, I. D-I-S-U-S-E? And the economy has shifted towards tourism. Simon and Jesse are the two original founders of Olive Town. They're both retired now, but they love to talk about history. Oh my goodness. Okay. Jesse, Jesse is me when I'm gonna be like 70 years old. She, I wanna dress up as this woman when I'm gonna be in my oldies. You know what? I wanna be dressing up uh, like Jesse right now. I love vintage stuff. Idiolic? Okay, idyllic is like idiolic, I think. And this sauce is like disuse. Okay, disuse. Okay, thank you. Oh, I love that we have the presentation of the characters. The Olive Hall with Jacopo. <laughs> what is this name? Jacopo. Jacopo is the son of Mayor Victor and Gloria. Unless he's on the clock working on the ferry, do not take anything he says seriously. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm never gonna take this guy seriously with a name like that. Jacopo. 
I I'm not even kidding. It it's written Jacopo. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, and we have Reina, which is one of the Bachelorette. So we have the museum open hours. What's that? Beth? Why can't I marry Beth? Look at this cute guy! Why can't I marry her? Why isn't she a marriage candidate? What? So we have the food and lodging with Jason, Sally, and Mickey! Oh my god. Look at Mickey. He's so cute. And then we have Misaki and Blair. Blair is adorable. I have a feeling that either Blair or... Um, what is her name again? The very tomboy looking one will be Josh's, um, Josh's wife. So we have the gourmet place. Okay, with Lavette. I swear to god, they know how to make like so freaking pretty characters and goofy ones. Um, breathtaking buildings. The Sei Shin An. And uh, Northern the Town, the main the manor boss. Oh it's so it's kinda like Okay. So it's kinda like an inn. And here's another marriage candidate, uh Iori. Yeah, he is known for being a avid angler. Why don't you join in for relaxing day fishing on the pier? He's kind of good looking. Honestly, everyone in this freaking game is so good looking. We have Emilio, Emilio the the Troy Bolton of this game, uh, and Laura. Laura is pretty cute too. Rolf, great outdoors. I like that they did um, half enough like presenting the buildings and the characters at the same time. And Nigel comments and Lars. Why can I marry Lars? Look how hedgy he is. Mary Lars? What? Uh, do we know anything about the multiplayer? Yeah, I really don't know. I learned that they, there was a friendly multiplayer when um, How Game Group was talking about it, but honestly, I really don't know. Oh, and we have um, Lin, which is another marriage candidate. Um, is it Bridget? Uh, Bridget? I think it was. The Hoof House Animal Shop. And we have Damon. We have Jack. Oh, Jack is kind of cute. Jack makes me think of Armin. Um, in the newest um, Attack on Titan season. And then we finish up with Jeanne, Karina, and Sydney. There is a lot of characters. Olive Town is growing. Olive Town is currently accepting application for commercial development in prime location at the center of town. Nice. Oh, and we can take little notes. All right, so we don't have a comic in this time, but still, I appreciate when video game companies do put the time in to make an instruction booklet. I really like these. All right, so here's our baby. That we're gonna lick. No, we're not licking cartridges. Um, we are old enough to know that we're not supposed to lick them. Compared to some people, I'm gonna put that baby up in my Switch. And we'll see. I'm just gonna clean a little bit. I'm gonna go on a quick BRB. I'm not even gonna go, like, far away. It's gonna take me a minute. So let me some time so I can, like, set up everything. And I'll be just right back, guys. 